And it is an unusual conversation street this week. Because it's the end of the year, we're doing our awards. OK? Or as we call them, the Nigels. <laughs> um, we start, actually, with, uh, well, we're calling it the Nissan Duke Award for the worst car of the year. <laughs> Nominations are the Mitsubishi Outlander Fev. Why is that on the list? Well, many, many reasons, actually. Chief among which is the way it beeps as you're driving along for no reason. You just go along and it goes, beep. Oh. Well, nothing's happened, it's just beeping. Maybe it's just bored. I'd be bored if I was a fair, but anyway. <laughs> other nominations include the Mini Countryman and the Renault Cab Jar. And the winner is... <laughs> it's the Nissan Juke. There you go. Oh, well, 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 a deserved award. Yeah, oh yeah, it is. The, the judges were particularly impressed with its consistent awfulness. <laughs> it was awful when it was first launched seven years ago, and it continues to be awful to this day. Well done. Do you know what that car is? It's a wacky vicar. <laughs> it's the, the sort of vicar that, you know, I've just been on my face, and do you know who else was there? Jesus! <laughs> yep, That's what yep, it is. Yep. Next, it is the hard ass to follow, Nigel. This is given to the car with the worst looking rear end. Uh, the nominations are the Honda Civic Type R. Oh, I like that. No, you're wrong. No, you are wrong. It's just a car they wouldn't stop designing. Stop oh, look how many spoilers they put out. We'll have one here, and one here, and one there, and there, and we'll have one exhaust, two exhaust, three exhaust. It's a bit like your jacket. They just didn't know when to stop adding bits unnecessary. <laughs> Pointless, stupid things to it. Might be in with a shout. <laughs> the next nomination is the Toyota CHR, a car styled by nine people who'd fallen out at a wedding. <laughs> but the winner of the hard ass to follow Nigel is. <clears throat> Ooh. It's the Land Rover Discovery! Mm. Look at that! <laughs> I think the problem is the designer, Jerry McGovern. Okay, we've got a picture of him here. <laughs> it's, and it's, this <laughs> is his dog. <laughs> and this is where he lives. All makes sense. So it's only natural his car should look like that. <laughs> it's just all hutched up. Now we have a special award. It goes to a car that you like, but you know you shouldn't because it would be a bit embarrassing. We're calling it the uh, You Would But You Know You Shouldn't Award. <laughs> Sarah Palin. <laughs> oh, yeah! It is the new, next year's one, actually, Corvette ZR1. Oh, yeah, that, that is. is... But that... That fits the bill perfectly. Yeah. That is exactly right, because you would buy one, because, wow, and then the next morning you wake up and think, what have I done? <laughs> We're moving on now to the Lack of Continuity Award. Nobody's going to beat me on that. Well, you were nominated for your mid-season haircut, that's true. But you were beaten by Richard Hammond. Hold on. Why was he beaten by me? Well, <coughs> I would invite you all now to pay careful attention to, well, actually, a clip from the McLaren film that you saw earlier. This was an early edit, OK? See if you can spot something wrong here. On the head turnometer, this thing definitely matches the Ferrari 488 and the Lamborghini Huracan. And then when we move on to the subject of power and speed, it actually beats them. <laughs> a deserving winner. You switched to a completely different car. Yeah. <laughs> which brings us on to the next award. Oh, no. Which, yes, you'll <laughs> like this. It's for accidentally filling up the petrol tank of a supercar with water award. <laughs> oh, God. How, in the name of all that's holy, did you do that? Well, it's interesting, isn't is it? It is. Um, it was running low on fuel at the track, and rather than take it off to a petrol station, which is miles away, I filled it from one of the jerry cans. Which was full of water? Yes. And you didn't notice? No. When did you notice? When the tea started tasting funny, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it was when the engine sort of let go. How many supercars have you destroyed this year, Hammond? <laughs> Two. Two? How many have you driven? Two. <laughs> well, anyway, I'd like to present you with your Nigel <laughs> for appalling continuity. There you are. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.
That concludes the awards and that concludes Conversation Street for this week. Moving on.